Working from the gun, Ritter. And he completed seven straight passes before that one. As it falls incomplete and puts a halt to that streak. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Ritter now. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And his kick is indeed good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Orlando takes back over on offense. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, here's Willis. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. To the air on first down, here's Willis. Short throw caught by Dulcich. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. Up the middle they go. Stockton. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42 yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They go play action with Willis. Smith and Jigbo with the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Second down in the yard. Now a give right side. Stockton. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Third down, it's Willis. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now Willis. And he's got Smith and Jigba. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. A big completion there against double coverage. And Charles, one of those guys had a pick on him earlier. Yeah, so he didn't allow that to deter him at all, did he? In fact, it probably was a challenge. Okay, you got a pick before. <laughs> it's my turn now to make the big play. And that's exactly. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the orbits are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Point after, right down the middle. And we are even at 10 apiece. A 
All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. These two teams all tied after one. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Ritter to throw it. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. A give up the middle to Dobbins. And a scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 20. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And they will take over first and 10. Orlando takes back over on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And a huge play that time. 41 yards. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Now a handoff up the middle. Stockton. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Here's Willis now off the play fade. Short throw caught by Dosich. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Up the middle they go. Stockton, he'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. This will wind up a loss on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. 
but no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Well, the Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Ritter on first and 10. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Back to throw, Ritter. That pass taken in by Burks. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Ritter. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Ritter back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. They have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Orlando takes back over on offense. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, well, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. So the completion good for just three. And that'll lead here to a third down. To throw, here's Willis. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. So first and ten now from the 30. Willis looking to throw it. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. Now a handoff up the middle. Stockton, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. They've got his man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. I don't care what level of football you play. This one was a universal, wasn't it? When we were kids and we played touch football, remember we get in these positions and you just say, everybody go long and hope someone will come free. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Shotgun snap to Willis. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Isabella. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Up the middle they go. Stockton. And he'll go down at the 28. Four yards the pick up. First down.
Back to throw Willis. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Stockton. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Call the gain of three on the play. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. A third and two, here's Willis. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And his kick here is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Go and play action. Ritter. They'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Ritter. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Ritter will set up to throw it. On the slant, Burks. 63 yards receiving for him now, and that last catch good enough for a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. To the air again, it's Ritter. A quick throw, but incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Ritter cannot escape, and they bring him down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Willis out of the gun. Over the middle, finding Smith and Jimbo. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Here's Willis. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up what
what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Here comes third and about a foot. Right back to the air again with Willis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. On first down, Willis. A throw over the middle, taken in by Troutman. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Willis will look to throw it. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will do it for this first half. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we'll send you across town to our studios here in Orlando and check in with the coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. We'll begin in the Hall of Fame city of Canton, Ohio. And as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Justin Fields, four touchdown passes in the victory. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see, currently they trail in that ball game. Former number two pick Zach Wilson with a couple of touchdown passes. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's gonna be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So this a two possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter. And the half will begin with a touchback. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Ritter to throw it. Quickly, but it's incomplete. Just what they need, electric for me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. And he is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So we stop for no gain, and it's second down. A handoff running left is Dobbins. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. 
Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. Third down and 10. Now Willis. Being and he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get them going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. He'll take it at the 42. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Ritter now. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Back to throw, Ritter. This one downfield to Burks. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. It's a gain of 34. But my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. Dobbins. Touchdown. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And the lead is down to two. A drive there of just four plays. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Orlando takes back over on offense. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. 
In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, here's Willis. That's complete to Troutman right side. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. They'll give up the middle to Johnson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. From the 43, here's second down and seven. Now Willis. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now from the gun, here's Willis. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Willis will look to throw on first down. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact That's may have come turn. too early. What's the deal, After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Out right, caught by Chosen. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. That's into the hands of Chosen. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Third down and six. Again, Willis to throw. Now a screen set up for Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. To throw, here's Willis. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Willis looks to pass it here. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. Third down, it's Willis. Flushed out right. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Like the footwork back there. I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Trying to buy a little extra time out of the pocket. But in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And it will push the lead up to five. 
So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy, and they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win. I say he gets a game ball. The Vancouver offense ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Back to the air on second down. Here's Ritter again. And his throw here is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. But we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Ritter looking to throw on first and 10. It's caught by Treadwell. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. The Ritter back to throw. And this one to Treadwell, complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Looking to throw once more. Here's Ritter. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on for the fifth time here today. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. Orlando takes back over on offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get a third. <laughs> not one to have ever been. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. Again, it's Johnson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Willis out of the gun. That'll be caught. It's Isabella. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. It'll be a pickup of four. And it winds us down to the end of the third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back live to Orlando. From the 41, here's second and six. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. 
They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here's Willis. That's caught by Chosen. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. First and 10, it's Willis. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. It sort of looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. Willis back to the air on second and ten. A throw over the middle, taken in by Trentman. A nice gain of 21 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Johnson, he is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Back to throw, Willis. This is caught. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. David Johnson with career touchdown number 96. He joins Eric Dickerson on the all-time list. And the Orbits are going to be moving to 4-0 as they extend their lead. Extra point attempt here still to come. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it's David Johnson who provides the capper as he scores on the touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Vancouver offense out and about set for another series. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw, Ritter. Over the middle, into the hands of Burks. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here, up to the 34. The offense on third down, they're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. They need just a yard here, it's third and one. That is caught. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 
So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. But that last throw, Charles, puts him over 15,000 yards passing now for his career. And Brandon, they're not going to stop the game and give him the game ball here, but that's still a pretty impressive number, and he's got plenty of more good football ahead of him. Although I would say the team should give him a game ball after it's all over. Another throw coming up here for Ritter. Over the middle, he's got Treadwell. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up second down. Ritter to throw it. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Now Ritter to throw on first down. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time and ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. A stoppage here for an injury and not what you want to see. J.K. Dobbins in a little bit of pain after that last play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Mitchell. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Option left, and Ritter keeps it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. Here's Ritter. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Now Ritter. And it's caught. Touchdown. Laquan Treadwell. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Condors have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point splits the uprights. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Orlando takes back over on offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They begin the drive with Johnson. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. A 
officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They go to Johnson again. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 41 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. To throw, here's Willis. Under pressure and down he goes. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back, but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. Now a throw here, hauled in. Short completion, just four yards. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Willis. Screen play, Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And on now is the punter, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Traylon Burks headed back out with the rest of this offense. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Ritter with another throw on second down. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. And right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Ritter throwing on third down. And this is caught. He hits more. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Ritter on first and 10. And he gets this one to Burks. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second and a yard. To the air again, it's Ritter. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get your reset. And they've got a fourth down now in a game that, to be honest, has been pretty much everything we could have asked for. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. 
Orlando takes back over on offense. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration, because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. There's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Willis to throw. This one caught by Isabella. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that'll push the lead up to eight. Well, from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do. We kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. They'll come up first and ten here. Ritter looks to throw it. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So for Orlando, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 and on the new campaign. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Vancouver, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.